Today I will be showing yet another LCD from Waveshare. It's a 2.8 uh, inch screen with uh, torch uh, provided by the XPT 2046. It also has a micro SD card slot on SPI. And today we will be printing some custom font uh, strings, uh, put a variable print. Right here it's uh, the uh, z-axis uh, from the touch and a, a new with drawing. And uh, today I will uh, talk about a little bit uh, how to set up the XPT correctly uh, because in the previous video, as you saw, uh, it uh, Mm, sometimes didn't uh, print on certain locations of the screen and today I will show you how to fix it and how to make the text, uh, I mean the screen drawing uh, more exactly by using the mm, touch value So it will look something like this. So now let's hop into the project, see the code. Okay, so we are at our main uh, function. Uh, on the first lines you can see uh, this is on the system initialization, some basic functions, SPI int, uh, the GPIO clocks in it, the pins which are used uh, for the screen, so the chip select for LCD, for the SD card and also for the XPT. Next on the chip, chip uh, uh, I mean the pin uh, for selecting the backlight. Next on the pin for uh, the data command for the LCD. And next on the last one, the uh, input pin for the interrupt from touching from the XPT. So next on, starting the USB for some debug, next on the display start. Let's take a look at this function. So uh, the first thing right here is to make the uh, screen in it. So basically right here you got uh, some SPI initialization for the screen, uh, which you can find in the .c file for it. Next on turning on the backlight and now drawing the whole screen black. So starting of the first corner to the last corner and printing uh, the whole uh, pixels black. So uh, it's uh, blue, green, red. And the higher the value to the 255, uh, the darker it gets. Okay, so next on, we got some uh, printing of uh, text right here. So uh, I made this function to work like this. So I'm uh, receiving in this function a, a string and I'm printing the individual letters in this function. So right here I got uh, some letters which I made. Uh, and they can be found in the uh, fonts.h. So for example, letter A. So it's consisting of uh, a table and the ones are the pixels which are going to be printed. You can use uh, instead of if else statement and uh, switch case statement, it will probably work uh, faster, but that's okay. You can use this anyway. Uh, okay, and now uh, to the printing of the pixels itself. Uh, in order to make them print uh, pretty fast, you've got to load a table of uh, pixels 
you want to print uh, uh, at once. So it will be faster than printing only one pixel uh, at the time. So I'm loading uh, the pixels uh, right here. So if I check in the table of the letter, if it's one, then I uh, put uh, a color for the uh, letter I print to the table, buffer, I will be printing in the function right here. And it consists of a single line, which is a length of uh, seven uh, bits, seven pixels. So after loading uh, a single line, I print this line and go through the whole uh, table. Okay, so that is about printing the text. So let's go back to the start of the display function. Okay, so we print uh, those uh, uh, strings right here. We can, for example, change this a little bit, something like this. And now, after this, I'm uh, printing a new uh, start screen with a little bit of uh, blue and some of green. Right here. The whole screen. And next on, a start bar on the left bottom. After this, I'm right here and I'm uh, making a few uh, variables for switching the menu content. So it starts off zero and right here, if I click uh, the screen, it uh, checks the position where I just uh, pressed the screen. And in order to make the XPT work uh, as intended, with a better resolution, uh, you gotta do a little bit of a trick. You got to lower the speed of the SPI and make sure it's on the mode three, not mode zero. Uh, and uh, using a speed of uh, two megahertz or one megahertz works uh, quite nicely. So if you want to use the XPT, you select the clock of the display, which is right here, eight megahertz, and I divide it by eight, so it's one megahertz. If you want to, to use the screen, you just make the red in it with uh, the variable one, and it uses the eight megahertz clock. It can use, uh, I think, up to 30 or 20 megahertz uh, of speed uh, total for the screen. Okay, so going back to this function, we make the SPI init for the XPT, so the touch control, and now we just uh, simply read uh, the touch uh, 100 times. That's actually the X uh, coordinate, the Y coordinate, and the pressure coordinate. They are a little bit of uh, mixed up, but uh, uh, finally they <laughs> work as intended. So after a uh, hundred samples, you choose only the ones that are uh, above uh, a threshold. Uh, in this example, the threshold is uh, right here. So if it meets the criteria, you just add it to a buffer of the variables. I mean the coordinates, and also increment a uh, divider for those two variables. And next on, after you read the 100 uh, samples, you just simply read in it the SPI for the screen, and right here you calculate the coordinates. Uh, if you want some debug, you can just uncomment this, and uh, it will be printed through the um, USB port. Okay, and going back to the main. 
after we got the coordinates right here i make a sprint function to the z, z global which is the pressure of the screen at the point and print it and at the uh, bottom right of the screen and now i check if the menu was clicked but at the startup it wasn't clicked it's zero so we're going down here and right here we check uh, the area of the start uh, button so if the menu wasn't clicked it displays the menu and changes the menu position to one as it is clicked uh, and after that we release the screen and going back after second click we check if the position of the touch was at the menu element so for example the draw uh, button if it was it changes the menu position to three and uh, goes out of it and next time it uh, checks if it if it is three and uh, if it was in the again in the menu uh, button for the draw it just simply uh, cleans it up if it wasn't in this uh, area it just draws the pixels right here okay so that's it now let's uh, simply build the project and now let's flash it to the board so putting the board into the bootloader and selecting it in the bosa Okay, so now let's take a look at the board. Okay, so now I'm clicking reset. And as you see, it uh, prints out the uh, modified value of the string. It prints out the uh, Z uh, value of the touch and also our menu. So clicking the draw element enables drawing Cling clicking it again cleans the menu and also the screen so i uh, hope you uh, find it useful in your project hope it uh, fixes the xpt in your project and see you in the next one